It started when I was 15 years old. Uh, I was just fooling around in, in my parents' basement, and I just was like beatboxing into this tube, and I vibrated my lips just right, and I got it to resonate a drone note. At the time, I didn't know anything about a didgeridoo. I didn't know what it was. But when I made that sound, I recognized the sound. It's, you know, it's kind of a familiar sound. And I was like, oh, that's weird. And I, and I kept playing. And... <laughs> didgeridoo wasn't popular. There wasn't any stores that I knew of. You know, I looked around. So it was like, well, I, let's try making, making our own. I started figuring out like the different lengths produce different drones diff or different notes and so it really kind of sparked curiosity. Every, everywhere I go I always bring a ditch and in Australia when I was there definitely I saw more a traditional side of, of playing and, and it was eye opening in a lot of ways you know. I'll keep making digits as long as I physically can you know and I'll be playing digits for as long as I can too. Yeah it's ingrained, it's a part, it's my, it's my life. So, I, I can't imagine doing anything else full time.